Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Meet. This video covers how enterprise users can access attendance reports for Google Meet and collect and track attendance data over time. Before we start, just a quick note of clarification. This video is for people who are using the enterprise version of the G Suite of Tools. If your school does not pay for the Google Tools, but instead uses the free version, you'll not have the attendance feature as well as other enterprise features. I do have a separate video where I cover an alternate way to collect and track attendance for Meet if you're using the free version, and you can find the link to that down in the description. So the enterprise version of Google Meet does have a built-in option to collect attendance for any session as long as you have five or more participants. Unfortunately, you get a separate attendance report for each meeting, and teachers may prefer to be able to put the entire year together to be able to track attendance for any day and any student. In this video, we'll take a look at how to take the individual attendance reports and put them into a Google Sheets template that uses a pivot table to pull all the data together for the entire school year. Let's see how this works. First, we will host our Google Meet just like normal. As long as we have at least five participants, the attendance will automatically be recorded. Shortly after the meeting is over, we will receive an email with the attendance report attached as a CSV or a comma separated values file. We can click on the attached file to get a preview of the data. However, to open it, we will need to hover over the attachment in the email and then click on the pencil icon to open it in Google Sheets. This will open the data as a spreadsheet in Google Sheets. The data that Google Meet records includes the participants' names, their email addresses, how long they were in the meeting, the time they joined, and the time that they disconnected from the meeting. This is very useful information, but it only pertains to the one meeting, not to all of the meetings that you may have with your students during the year. To help with this, I have created a Google Sheets template that you can use to track and summarize the attendance data for the entire year. You can get a copy using the link bit.ly slash meet dash attendance dash sheet. Or you can find the link in the description for this video or in my blog post. When you follow the link, you will click the Make a Copy button to get your own copy of the Google Sheet. You can, of course, rename the sheet to whatever works best for you. And you can use the same sheet for all of your classes, or you may want to make a copy for each class you teach if that makes it easier for you to manage the data. Now let's take a look at the sheet itself. The sheet has two tabs, one to collect the attendance data, and then a second tab to summarize it all in a pivot table. You will notice that the first tab has all of the same columns as the attendance report that we were emailed, but also includes one additional column for the date. At this point, we will want to go back to the attendance report that we were emailed, and we'll want to copy all of that data and then come back over to our template and paste that into our template. Now we will need to add the date to the first column. The format for that should be the month followed by a slash followed by the date followed by the year. The quickest way to get this into all of the cells is to type it into the first cell and then copy the date, then select the other cells we want to put it into, and paste the date into those. Now, as the year goes on, we'll want to keep putting new attendance data into this same Google Sheet. Each time we have a Google Meet, we'll get emailed an attendance report, and we can copy the data from that report and then paste it into this sheet, and of course, add the date for the meeting. As we add data to the first tab of the sheet, we can now use the second tab to see that data summarized. 
The second tab of the sheet has a pivot table set up that takes all of the data from the first tab and organizes it by student and by date. The pivot table will show which students were present each day, and it also calculates totals for each day and for each student. And that's it. As you continue to add more attendance data throughout the year, this sheet will be an easy place to track that data and see a summary for the entire school year. So that is how you can use my Google Sheet template with a pivot table to collect, track, and summarize your Google Meet attendance data for the entire school year. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Meet. The full list can be found at www dot control slash meet videos.